The Lantern Festival, 元宵节，正月十五到，欢乐闹元宵。On the fifteenth day of the first lunar month, we celebrate the Lantern Festival with lots of fun. The Lantern Festival falls on the fifteenth day of the first lunar month, also known as the last day of the Chinese New Year. 农历的正月十五，也就是农历新年的最后一天，是元宵节。There are many legends revolving around the Lantern Festival. One of them being the story of the Jade Emperor and the Holy Bird. Surrounding the Lantern Festival, there are many stories. One of them is the story of the Jade Emperor and the Holy Bird. The story comes. Here comes the story. According to the legend, a holy bird from the heavenly palace got lost on Earth and was unfortunately shot down by a hunter. 相传天宫里的一只神鸟因迷路而降落人间，却不幸被猎人射死。Upon learning this, the Jade Emperor flew into a rage. 得知这个消息后，玉皇大帝勃然大怒。He vowed to punish mankind by setting the town on fire on the fifteenth day of the first lunar month. 为了惩罚人类，他立誓要在农历的正月十五放火烧镇。山穷水尽疑无路，柳暗花明又一村。There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Being kind-hearted, the Jade Emperor's daughter could not bear to see the suffering of innocent people. 玉帝的女儿心地善良，不忍看无辜百姓受难。As such, she flew to Earth. Via auspicious clouds, and informed the villagers of the looming disaster. 于是，他偷偷驾着祥云来到人间，向人们通风报信。Everyone fell into despair, except for a wise old man. 人人都陷入了绝望，除了一个睿智的老人。Under the supervision of the old man, the villagers created an illusion of the town on fire using lanterns, fireworks, and firecrackers. 在老人的监督下，村民们用灯笼、烟花和鞭炮制造了一个火烧城镇的错觉。When the Jade Emperor looked down from the heavenly palace, he was overjoyed by the sight of the town being engulfed in flames and the deafening noises. 玉帝从天庭往下一瞧，只见人间火光冲天，震耳欲聋。不禁大喜。Having tricked the Jade Emperor and spared of their lives, the Chinese carried on the tradition of displaying lanterns, lighting firecrackers, and setting off fireworks at the Lantern Festival henceforth. Mantian 的玉帝
并保全性命之后，华人在元宵节张灯结彩、点响爆竹、燃放烟火的传统从此传承下来。Did you know what are the common customs practiced by the modern-day Chinese during the Lantern Festival? Yes, I know. 你知道现代华人在元宵节期间有哪些常见的习俗吗？我知道，我知道。现今常见的习俗有 ：The common customs are eating glutinous rice balls， 吃汤圆。过元宵 ，enjoying the sight of colorful lanterns and guessing lantern riddles， 赏花灯和猜灯谜。Given the plethora of fun activities, the Lantern Festival is also an opportunity for the young singles to meet and greet in the hope of finding love. Thus, it is also known as the Chinese Valentine's Day. 由于庆祝元宵节的活动众多，该节日也为单身男女制造了见面并结缘的机会，因此元宵节也被称为东方情人节。Speaking of Valentines and romance, here is the extract of an ancient poem by Xin Cixi from the Song Dynasty, entitled "The Lantern Festival Night," to the tune of the Green Jade Table. 既然提到情人节和浪漫情怀，我们不妨在这里摘录了宋代诗人辛弃疾的一首题为《青玉案·元夕》的。古诗词句：“众里寻他千百度，蓦然回首，那人却在灯火阑珊处。”该诗词描绘了在元夕，即元宵节的灯火中，等待、找寻情人的情景。The poem depicts the scene of waiting and searching for one's lover on the Lantern Festival night. 千百度指千百遍 meaning a thousand times. 蓦然指猛然 meaning suddenly. 阑珊指零落稀疏的样子 meaning waning or few and dim in this case. 诗词解释：我在人群中寻找他千百余回，找得我好苦啊！但他都还未曾出现，我不禁感到失落并疲惫。但就在我不经意的猛然一回头时，却发现他正在那灯火零落的地方静静地站着呢。Here is the poetic interpretation in English. I searched high and low for her, but to no avail. I couldn't help but feel lost and weary. However, when I turned back inadvertently. I found her standing quietly at where the lantern lights were dimly scattered. 该词句采摘表达了诗人在苦苦寻觅不果之后，却意外地发现了意中人的惊喜之情，同时也含蓄地衬托出了一个自甘寂寞、独立不移的人物形象。The phrases express the poet's delight at surprisingly finding his beloved after having searched for her in vain earlier. In addition, it implicitly portrays someone as being solitary and independent. Here is also a lantern riddle for you. The clue is to guess an animal. 这里也有一个灯谜来给你猜一猜，打一个动物。冬天一到，毛变白，蹦蹦跳跳真可爱。When winter comes, its fur turns as white as snow. It looks so cute as it hops around in the cold. Have you guessed what is the answer to the riddle? 
，你猜到谜底是什么了吗 ？Snow Bunny， 雪兔。Here's wishing you and your family a happy Lantern Festival, and may lovers be united in blissful marriage too. 在此，恭祝大家在元宵佳节合家团圆，有情人终成眷属。The end. Please like and subscribe. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye bye. 完结，请点赞订阅，谢谢，我们下次再见。